Give me a little intro there, Gomer. Listening to the Station 71 podcast. My name is Mario, and this week I'm joined by my co hosts, Beth and Brian. So, we've got some uh, fun topic to talk about this week, and this is totally not the second time that we're doing this because of technical difficulties. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, we are going to be doing a tier list ranking all of the attractions on Disney property, hopefully, uh, without any misses here. But we're going to give our two cents on what we think the best and worst attractions in each park are based on this tier list that we've got. And ultimately, the goal is to land on a combined Station 71 uh, hosts bracket tier list type thing where we have to agree on where they stand. This should be interesting. The last time we did it, it was a lot of fun. And I can't imagine it's not going to be on the second run. (laughs) I'll probably have completely different opinions this time. I know, right? (laughs) I was thinking about that when I was setting the links up and everything. I was like, I don't remember how I voted for this the last time. And I know there were some disagreements between all of us, but I feel like there are going to be disagreements in the opposite end now. (laughs) Probably. I think I, I bounce back and forth so much between how I feel about attractions. So, I mean, this is what, two weeks after we did this the first time. So, I, yeah, I'm probably going to be completely flipped. <laughs> well, let's start us off with our news this week so we can get through that and get to the fun part. Uh, first thing we have on here is that Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which is the uh, retheming for Splash Mountain, is set to open in late 2024. Um, and I guess it's good that we've got a name on it. We've got a timeline for it now. We all knew this was kind of coming. So just the next step. I know. I'm very excited about this. As sad as I am to see Splash Mountain go, this is the this is the best possible situation for me personally that they could have replaced it with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I think Splash Mountain definitely was one of the attractions that needed the retheme. So I'm happy that we're hearing about it and it's it's coming out that we're still actually getting it. Yeah, I think I'm mostly, with Splash Mountain, I'm mostly sad about the, like, cheesy old animatronics leaving. Yeah. Because I love them. But we'll always have 4K videos of them on YouTube, so. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, um, The next thing that we've got on our news topics here is that Festival of the Lion King is back at Animal Kingdom, and not just the temporary COVID version of the show. We have the tumble monkeys and the flying bird back. So very excited to see this back to nature is healing. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I think that we all didn't really consider this the real festival of the Lion King, especially without the tumble monkeys. Yeah. I, I didn't watch the show since it reopened personally, but also kind of feel like it's just not the same without the tumble monkeys and the aerial performers. Yeah. But especially the tumble monkeys. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then the last thing that we've got on here for news is that um, some permits have been filed for the play pavilion. And based off of that, the internet is speculating on a possible opening date. Um, The permit that was filed was for construction it's one of disney's uh larger contractors that they use and the expiration date is for december 31st 2024 which suggests maybe a late 2024 opening or an early 25 opening um i just i'm happy that they're still doing this Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i feel like we're at the point where like a lot of these things are going to start coming out pre-D23, and we're going to hear more of these, like, projects that are, uh, that were announced a while ago that are coming off of hold now. 
Yeah, I feel like they've been keeping silent on a lot of things they announced. So it's like, until they say otherwise, I'm assuming everything that we got announced is indefinitely on hold. So it's nice that when they come out with things like this, where it's like, oh, okay, so we're not losing literally everything that you guys announced. (laughs) This looks fun, though. It says... They'll have guests will have the chance to help legendary fashion icon Edna Mode on her quest to rid the world of uninspired style or (laughs) make a splash competing in a water balloon fight hosted by Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. That sounds fun. Who is Webby? Is that the girl? girl? Yeah. Oh, that's from okay. From DuckTales. How are they going to do a water balloon fight inside? I have no idea. I'll watch it. I won't participate. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting. Yeah, I I wanted to put these in there specifically because, like I said, these are things that we, we knew were coming. And I feel like with D23 on the horizon do you think we're going to hear a lot of these things clear up on like, if they're going to reopen, like what do you guys think this year is going to be for D 23? Cause I think it's a, it's going to be an interesting year. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, I feel like Disney's kind of getting its feet back underneath them after the, sh- you know, major shutdowns from the pandemic and everything. Um, the last couple of D 23s have been, underwhelming i think a lot of yeah. people would say uh i don't want to like get my hopes up too high but i'm expecting them to try to come out and have you know maybe some stuff that they've had in the back pocket for a little bit and maybe even if it's a little bit early to be announcing stuff to um kind of come back with a little bit more oomph this year and, and announce some bigger stuff happening yeah makes sense So I guess uh, we have we can segue into our topic this week. Um, do we want to try to randomly select these again like we did the last time? <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe we'll just go in order of what is on the bottom. Okay. Is that what we did last time? Uh, I rolled a die one through four, but I think we started in Animal Kingdom and went down. To... Oh, I thought you meant the attractions. Oh, themselves. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, you okay. want to do a die again? Yeah, I'll roll a die. Oh, uh, so I wait, does this like update for everybody as we go through it? I don't know. We will find out. I it said two, so we're Hollywood Studios. Um, I just dragged Toy Story Mania onto the thing. Can anybody I else see that? No, I didn't. No, I think I, it's I all separate. That. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll follow through this time and, and actually keep up with it. <laughs> um, okay. So the die selected that we start with Hollywood Studios. So our first one that we have on Hollywood Studios is Toy Story Mania. Anybody have initial thoughts on? Hang on. I think to oh. <laughs> before we get into this because we we got through this the last time to and just so viewers know we're doing this on a per part basis so Mm -hmm. for example a b in the magic kingdom might not be like a b in hollywood studios right so they're kind of yeah you have have to separate them um and look at it on a per part basis and i think we also had decided that we were doing s through d tiers so s is the top tier and then d is like the bottom of the bracket which doesn't necessarily mean they're bad because we argued about that the last time too. (laughs) (laughs) So with that said, Toy Story Mania, initial thoughts anywhere? Hmm. Hmm. Well, like I said last time, Beth, don't let your carpal tunnel. Yes. Your ranking of this. That's true. I want to say it's a B tier attraction for me. 
um and maybe that's ranking it a little low and letting their carpal tunnel get the best of me <laughs> but i think it's a pretty solid attraction it's not the worst in the park and it's not the best so i think middle of the road for me makes sense yeah, yeah. i that's, think that's fair i think you know it's and this is one that i almost think would be higher in some other parks just because you know when it first came out it was pretty I don't want to say groundbreak, but it was one of the first like really heavily, um, you, you know, like guest interactivity game style ones, uh, like attractions in the park. And now there's a lot of other stuff in Hollywood studios that does a similar thing, but better. So I think yeah. middle of the tier sounds good for this, but you know, it's like, if you put this in magic kingdom, I think if you compare this to like buzz Lightyear, you know, like technically this one has a lot more advanced stuff um but yeah hollywood studios i think i agree with the b tier yeah i i kind of agree with that i wish that i wish that i liked it more but i think that it does get overshadowed by a lot too um next one we have one here is runaway railway hmm. based off of my logic before i think this is an a tier just because i think if middle of the road is midway mania, this is still a step above middle of the road. Yeah. It's not the best of the best, but it's not worse than middle ground. Yeah. And right now, fair. right now, I think I put it in at an A. I think you come back in five years and that might have scooched its way down to a B. Oh, I definitely think it scooches its way down in a couple of years. <laughs> that technology makes it so much better. Yeah. All right, here comes some bias. Tower of Terror. S. S for sure. <laughs> we can throw that in the S. I would be comfortable with S or A. I don't think it falls lower than that. And I don't think that I'd even have to argue for anything lower than yeah. S or A. I, think, I don't think that putting it in S is biased even because if you really think about all the attractions at Hollywood Studios, this is one of the best ones. So mm -hmm. it should be in the best tier. Yeah, that's true. I think, I think that that's probably the perfect argument for it. Is it is the best attraction? Yeah, and I, you know, it, not only that it's so good, but it's been so good for so long. It's not, you know, cutting edge technology. It's just one of those attractions that got it very right and had mm -hmm. to do very little changes over the years, and it's still great today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next one I have is Alien Swirling Saucers. I think this is a B or a C. I would lean more towards C. Okay. Personally, it's fun. It ends a little too soon for my taste, but it's just like, I don't know. It's like a, it's a cute, interesting take on like a classic swirly type of ride, you know, like it adds a little something extra than just, you know, teacups or something that just goes around and around and around. This one's like, well, we switched tracks a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. If this one was longer, would it go up on your scale? Mm, probably not. If okay. I, I feel like C is fair. Okay. I don't remember what I said last time. I feel like I was like had to fight for it last time, but for some reason this time C feels fair to me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we were trying to y'all were trying to put it in D last time. I don't know. I mean, I like this attraction a lot. I that's why I asked if if it was longer, if that would make a difference on it, because I think it's a fun attraction. It's not necessarily as bad as some of the ones that I I know are going to be placed in D tier. Exactly. But I think that like I if it I think its biggest fault is that it's not very long. But and, then again, I wonder if it were longer, if the sensation would get old. Yeah, that's true. That's that's very true. So maybe it's good that it's a little short. It leaves you wanting a little more, whereas if it were significantly longer, you might be like, all right, I'm ready to get off. That's fair. One, one thing that also kind of takes away from it for me is the fact that um, 
you know, with the outdoor queue and everything, you're very exposed to the music from the attraction the entire <laughs> time that you're, yeah. you're on it. And also, you know, if you get on it the first time, you know, one of the cooler things is not only is it slinging you around, but when you come to like the two different circles, it looks like you're about to collide with the other one before. Mm-hmm. But it's like you see that happening in the queue over and over and over again. So you know what's coming. Kind so of takes that... away some of the excitement. Yeah. So what you're saying is if it was longer and had a closed in queue, it'd be better. <laughs> better, Just... but I don't think it'd be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with C. That's fine. Uh, Smuggler's Run. I feel like we... I feel like I would put it in B, even though I have problems with it. I think it's not, I don't know. It's a step above alien swirling saucers. It doesn't (laughs) feel right to put it in the same category as that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or would y'all rank it higher than B? I kind of want it to be an A, but I don't know if that's bias. And that's, that's the issue that I'm kind of like struggling with right now. I think, is it better than Alien Swirling Saucers? Absolutely. Is it better than Midway Mania? I think so, but I also think it's um, the I, one. The idea of flying the Millennium Falcon feels more iconic than being in, in uh, Andy's toy box to me. And then on yeah. top of that, I'm factoring the the Hondo animatronic, which is pretty next level. Um, but the ride itself. Like, if you're just talking about the actual ride experience, it's probably on par with Midway Mania. Well, and I think, you know, part of the thing that we talked about last time was that if you're a pilot, it's very different than being in one of the other roles. Yeah. Right. Like, I would say I would be comfortable putting it in A if I was guaranteed the pilot. But if I was in any of the other roles, I feel like it would fall in B. Could you imagine if. Uh, smugglers run had like a roll queue where you could specifically say i'm going to get in line for this actual seat in the attraction and no other one you know to be honest insanely long yeah i don't even think you need to do it um you know by each one i think you could honestly set up and do like a pilot's queue and then other yeah Yeah. you know kind of like i don't know if universal still does it but i remember you know you used to be able to wait in like the front of the line queue like the Hulk and stuff at Universal when it was way yeah. longer, but people wanted to do it. I think you could set up something like that here. I mean, especially I've seen... if you're doing a virtual queue, that's that's easy. Yeah. I've seen people do that on Smuggler's Run where they're like, hey, I want to be pilot. Can you like put me aside? I don't know if they still do that. This was very early on. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've seen that for other attractions like, you know, rock and roller coaster expedition everest where there's like a little separate area that they will hold you in until you can be the like for in the first row so right. yeah you just have to probably wait twice as long if you wanted <laughs> if they had a separate line for pilot that's the only way to experience it in my opinion oh yeah i you know i haven't even like i almost don't even want to ride it if i can't be yeah, like I, I still haven't done it, but I just remember, you know, doing like the en- I think I've been engineered twice the two times that I've done it. And it's just, it really is. It, while the pilot is doing almost everything, you are getting distracted by having to push a button at some point and you just keep looking at the button and you're not even really focusing on the ride. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, so, long story short, I, I'm comfortable putting this in B. Okay, we can put it at B. I, I wish that like the one thing about this ride that that kills me, and I know you guys kind of talked about it, is I feel like engineer is arguably the worst role. Like you, you do absolutely nothing, but the gunner and the pilots, I feel like that is so fun that it kind of compensates for the rest of it. But if you get stuck in an engineer role, like the ride just kind of stinks for you. <laughs> it's just I don't understand why they decided to do that why not just have i don't know two pilots and four gunners i don't know yeah. who yeah who, who wants to be the person that just pushes the button <laughs> uh the person whose favorite ride is mission space 
There we go. <laughs> True. Um, next one I have one here is Beauty and the Beast live on stage. This is a D, right? Like carpet uh, bias aside, this is a D, right? Uh, I don't know. I feel like there are other things that are like at least one other thing that's going to go in D, and I don't feel like it's fair to put this with it. But uh, okay. but there, I see. I agree with that, but there's got to be some, you know. There's some range within each tier, too. Yeah, that's I true. think this is a high D. Okay. See, this <laughs> is why I feel like I wanted it. I want an F tier. I well, want the can, ones that I we hate. We can make an F tier. We know what's going in F tier, and it can just live alone down there. Well, and I think I think for this park specifically, we have to keep the list a little short because there isn't as many attractions. When we get to, like, Magic Kingdom, we have to open a second tier. Yeah. Next tier. I'm fine uh, with putting it in D. Uh, another D on here, Disney Junior Play Pals, right? Like the, uh, the dance party that goes down there. Yeah. Yes. I feel oh, like that. A question: Has anybody actually watched this, or no. do we just know in our hearts? Just know in our hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to have faith, Beth, and just you have to have faith that this is. <laughs> uh, next one is Fantasmic. That's gonna be a tough one i feel like <laughs> y'all fight amongst yourselves i sat this one out last time because oh yeah because you hadn't seen years. it in so long all right here's what i'll say <laughs> Beth, as much come back into that fight real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh no as much as i want it to be an s tier i will acknowledge that it's a little outdated and it could use some sprucing up but it's definitely an, at least an A. I can I can be okay with an A tier. I think it's an iconic enough show. It's like the one thing that I still consider Hollywood Studios having that that was an enjoyable relic of its past. I think it needs a touch up. Yeah. But I think that touch up would just push it up a tier, really. Yeah, and when I say that it needs some sprucing up, I want the essential storyline to stay the same. They could just interchange the, like, if they want to trade out, like, the Pocahontas segment for something else, I'm okay with it. If they want to change up the floats with the different princesses to make them more recent princesses, I'm fine with that. But I, I feel like the whole, like, imagination and the song, even if they want to re-record the song, that's fine. But that's the hill I'll die on, is that the, the ultimate theming and feel of the show needs to remain. Yeah, I I agree with that. I think the theme and the structure stay, and then they just make it more relevant. Yeah. And maybe just cut the Pocahontas segment, because that part drags on for way too long. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, when they had, like mickey's royal friendship fair versus dream along with mickey when they replaced yep. dream along with friendship fair it still felt like a you know it was like a sister show like it had the same vibe mm -hmm. it was just a more modernized version of it and i was okay with that yeah um so next one we have is muppet vision 3d and i will state that we cannot give the bias factor on this one this has to be treated fairly. I gotta mm. say, I I have more fun watching this show than I do on Smuggler's Run, but that is a probably a bias coming into play there. I think it fits extent. on the same tier, though. You think? Me, I think it fits on the same tier. I think this is a solid B. Um, I think it's the one of the best uses of 3D movie. Um, specifically because they have the characters that also work with it. Um, but I think that it's not an A tier attraction. It's definitely not lower than B tier. So I think B is where I would land with it. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. I wish yeah. they would do like, you know how when they like take a video game and they up res it and they're like, ooh, it's the remastered version. Right. <laughs> I wish yeah. they would do that for Muppet Vision. 
seriously, you know, I don't even want the story. Like, if they literally just came and did like, oh yeah, we have you know the original recording on film. We're gonna put it out in 4K. Yeah, Boom, I'm down for it. That'd yeah. be awesome. Uh, next one they have is Walt Disney Presents. <sighs> Sad face. <laughs> it is. I love it for what it's supposed to be and what it should be, but Disney has has not done well by this. I think this is a C. It hurts my soul to say it, but I think this is a C. Yeah. I'm fine with that. And it kills me that Disney isn't even won't even give it the the respect of it being a standalone attraction they have to put some random ass meet and greet at the end and i like that's so disrespectful in my opinion because it's like oh yeah this you know this is the man who started this company look at all this cool stuff he did but i know that's not really going to get you in here so uh you know stitches at the end come on in it's your uh i think walt disney presents is also not long for this park because it's kind of the same thing where there used to be so much here. There used to be so many things that they had in this place that, that made it feel like it was tying in the theme of Hollywood together. It felt like, you know, it, it felt like they were bringing these, these pieces in to, to have it for the people that wanted to see it. And it was probably one of the coolest things that uh, Hollywood studios had going for it. And now it's kind of just really a shell of itself. Mm-hmm. And, we've talked about how one man's dream isn't always there too. Like I think that was the centerpiece of this attraction previously. And now it's kind of like, if there's a new movie coming out, they're going to do a preview for it. And if there's not a new movie coming out, it's going to be one man's dream. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. I have an interesting question to pose at the end. Just don't let me forget okay. after we've categorized everything. Um, next one's obviously a D, right? Lightning McQueen's uh, Racing Academy. We put that at the bottom. I'm oh, yeah. definitely fine with that. Okay. It is. It is digging a hole through the bottom of D tier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, rock and roller coaster. I think that's an A. Yeah. I feel like it's weird because it could be like A point five where it's between A and B. But I think if I had to push it up anywhere, it would probably be an A tier. It is. I think it does a really good job of what it's trying to be, which is, you know, it, for the most part a roller coaster that Disney sprinkled a little bit of theming on because they kind of had to, but you know, I don't, I don't think Disney put like a huge amount of, of effort into doing the queue and making it feel like that much of a part of Hollywood studios. But I think it's a really, really fun ride. The yeah. fact that it is one of the few like intense roller coasters that you can ride at Disney puts it up there for a unique experience, at least as far as the, you know, Disney's concerned. Um, so yeah, I, th- I think A is good for that. I think if the, you know it had better theming, a better queue, they could probably be bumped up to S. But as it stands, I'm cool with A. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I hope I don't get too much backlash for this, but I agree with what Brian was saying, and I feel like if it were a more relevant band, <laughs> I don't disagree. Well, you know, I think yeah. I'm now, when sure. it was made. That's fine. Like when oh. it was made, Aerosmith was the hotness. Well, not only that, it's like Aerosmith used to be a big band and they kind of dipped down and then they came back with a new album. So it was like, oh, dang, you know, the kids are listening to it. Their parents are listening to it. Everyone's going to love it. And now, like, what, 20 years later, it's, you know, most people are like, who the hell is Aerosmith? 
because now mm-hmm. it's fallen into that that next gap <laughs> you know with the generations like you got the parents that were between the old parents and the kids and now you got the new kids like those are the parents and kids that are going now and those generations don't right care about Aerosmith, so here we are now the yeah. question i would pose is if they could go back in time and they wanted to, to record footage in you know stuff with a band that would was relevant then and would still be relevant now or a musician in general, who do you think might work to this day? Mm-hmm. Like me personally, I would say someone like queen. Yeah. Queen was the one that came to mind for me because yeah. kids, even like, you know, the next generation, they like those songs are still current. Like they're still used in popular media a lot. Right. Like people would know those songs still, even in like younger generations. I think that's a really good pick. You know what's what's wild for me about this attraction is that I think the theming, the ride, and the story of the ride are not what make this attraction, which is why I would say it's definitely okay if this got bumped down a little bit. Um and why I think that this is probably one of the easiest rides that they could just overlay with anything. Mm -hmm. And it would be better. Like, you don't ride that ride because you like Aerosmith. You ride that ride because it's a roller coaster. Right. Well, I think that's true. And honestly, I don't don't know if Disney had originally even intended for Aerosmith to kind of, like, stick around for as long as it has. Because if you look at it, outside of the pre-show, and, I mean, obviously the song that they played that could easily be changed, like, what... There's nothing actually in the attraction that, that is like Aerosmith themed. Nope. So, I, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like Disney had planned to be able to update this every couple of years and then that just got put on the back burner and they never did. But <laughs> yeah, regardless, Aerosmith, completely unnecessary. Yeah, I, I could definitely see them trying to plan for that to be updated every couple of years. Yeah. Especially because that came out uh, Eisner era Disney, so wow. <laughs> it wouldn't be that uh, hard even to do just like an overlay from time to time. No, but what do we know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one we've got is Star Tours. I think that hmm, we ran into the same dilemma we did the last time. Uh, where see, uh this is why i feel like we had an f t- we should have an f tier i feel like some of this could get shifted around but i know we're not doing that so i'm gonna move on <laughs> <laughs> so here's my dilemma that i'm facing right now we have a tier which has uh runaway railway phantasmic and rock and roller coaster b tiers midway mania star tours muppet vision uh C is Alien Swirling Saucers and Walt Disney Presents. And I think that Star Tours belongs in the B tier, but is better or is not as good as some of the stuff that's in there. But I don't think it belongs on the same tier as uh, Alien Swirling Saucers. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Let's, let's just put it on the line. We'll, <laughs> we just sit on the fence right there. <laughs> Between. <laughs> So are we more comfortable putting it in B tier or are we more comfortable putting it in the same tier as the saucers? I would would say low uh, B. Yeah. (laughs) It's tough. Now I'm wondering. Yeah. It's got a lot of like rewritability, which a lot of these don't have, you know, because you do get different experiences each time, different like little mashups here and there. But then... I don't know. I feel <laughs> like low B is where I would sit. I'm Let's I'm go. gonna put it in B for the for the simple fact that this is like the one attraction that's projection or like a screen based or projection based that we keep saying, Hey Disney, why don't you just update this every once in a while? And that this is the one attraction that they actually do it with. So yeah. for that reason I'm gonna put it in B. That's fair. I think like you said, with the with the updates, it usually does give it at least a nice little boost of life. Um, Slinky Dog Dash. I think this is a B too. Yeah, I say B. 
I was originally kind of on the fence between B and A, but I think it's a good coaster, but I think that Rock and Roller Coaster is the better coaster. For sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm okay with B. I think this loses a lot from having an outdoor queue, um, which is mm -hmm. just miserable most of the time of the year. I think they yeah. get decent theming for what they could with an outdoor queue, but it, it still is an outdoor queue. And it's just not exciting enough, I think, to be pushed up into A. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, Rise of the Resistance. I'm going to sit this one out until you guys can talk this over because I want to put this at S tier. <laughs> I think as it currently stands, it does belong in S tier. I agree. That will change over time, but we have to think about the present day. That's true. I, you know, it's one of those things that I can quickly see it in, you know, a short amount of time losing a lot of the luster. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I agree. For right now, S. Okay. Watch your back, Rise, because you're not going to do that well. <laughs> I mean, it has the same issue that Runaway Railway has, so I think that's fair to place it as current day. All right. Uh, Frozen Sing Along. I think that's a solid C. I think yeah. so, too. I think that's a fun sleeper one. I don't think it's as bad as some of the stuff in D. Right. No. I actually had a lot of fun when I did this. For the first time last time so i feel like everybody underestimates how fun it is and it really, it, and it's it's a nice little cute thing you know honestly i you know when it first came out i was like oh boy here is disney cashing in on frozen again and i literally thought that they were just going to put you in a room you know and you sing the frozen songs and while that is the majority of it i think that the the show elements that they intersperse within it are good and keep the the crowd engaged and you know what sometimes just singing is fun no matter how good you are at it no matter how old you are it's just it can be fun and i think this does a good job at that but it ain't it ain't a b tier attraction either so. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one we have is indiana jones stunt spectacular mm -hmm. I feel like that's also C. Yeah. It's like a fun waste of time for a little while. You know, it's interesting yeah. to watch. A little kind of little um reminiscent of old Hollywood studios where you got to see like movie magic being made. Right. I think you describing it as a waste of time as, you know, a fun waste of time, yes, is very accurate because I don't think I've ever gone into the parks planning to do it, but sometimes yeah. you have that gap in the schedule when you're waiting on something and you say, let's just kill 45 minutes and go watch this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that finishes up Hollywood studios for us. Now here's my challenge to you guys. And I thought this might be a little fun thing. If we took just a couple select attractions, just for our fun, not to put on the chart, just in our minds, a couple of extinct attractions from each park and where we thought think they would fall today. Ooh. Ooh. I funny. was thinking about this when we were talking about Indiana Jones Sun Spectacular because I think Lights Motor Action kind of falls into that same issue, right? Right. Like, that one I think is also a seat here. I would agree. Um, where do we think Studio Backlot Tour would be? Easily A tier. Yeah, for sure. I don't think it's S. Not because quite. It, it, yeah, it's like on the that it could have been better, but I think it was still good. But where do we think uh, Great Movie Ride falls? Yeah, that was the other one I was thinking about. That's got to be a point of contention. I feel like at some point it deserved an S. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. End of life C uh pre them taking away most of the dialogue from the drivers AS somewhere around there. I would still say that it would fall into B for me in its heyday. Okay. But definitely end of life would be C. I think well 
So here's here's an interesting question. Uh, if we leave the list the same way and add them, is that what we were doing, or are we adding them like to the park at the time? Because if you're talking about uh, great movie ride at the time that it closed, there really wasn't a lot of this stuff there. I mean, Tower of Terror was still there, Fantasmic was there, Rock and Roller Coaster was there. I think it just gets bumped up because a lot of these things weren't in the park yet, right? Like, yeah, but I think for the sake of ease, let's just imagine that the park is the way that it is and the old attractions just still exist somehow in the ether. Okay, 100% a C then. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you did, I think if you click on the thing that says, hang on, view community rank, it has what we did last time. Does it? Oh, okay. yeah. We're pretty close. If this is what it is, oh, this, is like, this will be fun. Yeah, we actually were. We were very close. We were like one attraction, two attractions. Wow. Left. Yeah. What did we rate differently last time? Last time we put Runaway Railway in B tier for the okay. this time, and we also put Beauty and the Beast <laughs> in C. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah that was some rose tinted glasses right there wow <laughs> i think oh. we, we, we had a much more uh objective view on stuff this time i think we yeah. did a better job nice oh boy. well that, okay. that'll be a fun little thing to look at at the end of each okay, one okay yeah so no, no peeking on the next no peeking one. though <laughs> yeah okay uh, so let me roll the die on the next ones. I have one through three now. Two. Which I think I accidentally closed the Google Sheet. Give me one second. Epcot? Uh, yes. Uh, where do we think that falls? The Beauty and the Beast sing along. I'm going to have the same problem as I did last time. I've never done this and I have not done any of the circle vision ones except for Canada. But my heart tells me this has got to be no higher than a C. I think it's a D. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm fine with it cuz like I said I have no context. Yeah, it's definitely a D. I think it's I'm happy that they didn't continue to do this kind of thing in all of the circle visions. Um, but yeah, no, this is not a very good use of space. So the next one that we have on here is reflections of China. I think that's a C. I think it at least does what the pavilion is supposed to do. And you know, give you some insight on the culture or history of the of, of the country that it's on. So I think for that fact alone, it has to be placed higher than the Beauty and the Beast sing along. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm fine with it being a C, uh, or wherever else you want to put it, as long as it's not like A tier or S no, tier. No, 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 no. Um. Are we also leaving off the ones that we haven't done because we have Guardians on here too? And I think we decided we couldn't fairly put that there before. Right. Yeah. I mean, based on what everybody that I have talked to that's written it says is it's S tier. It's fantastic. But, um, you know, that would, that would be unfair, I think, if we ranked it. That's right. Uh, next one is also Circle Vision. It's Reflections de France. It's uh, probably also a C for me. sure <laughs> i haven't done it <laughs> it's, a, it's a low c it's the worst circle vision movie but yeah so wait, they have perfect. that and the beauty and the beast sing along going on they yeah. do they it it's so the beauty of that is that they can cycle the movies without having to really change anything and they can play both of them at the same time but at the same time neither of them is very good so <laughs> It's not really a plus or a minus here. Yeah. Now, I will say that even though I haven't done either of the 
films in France. I did go in and look at the exhibit that's like in the waiting area. Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty cool because they had like props from like live action Disney movies on display. See, that's I like when they cool. do stuff like that. Like they yeah. did the one in um the the jazz one in the American Adventure when yeah. Soul was coming out, and I really liked that. That was cool. Uh, next one that we have on here is Spaceship Earth. That is going to be totally biased ranked, isn't it? I'm going to put it in A. Yeah. Okay. I'm inclined to also put it in A. I think it's A, but only specifically for this park. Because yes. there is not really right, anything right. that ranks. You yeah. know, it, I, I think it serves as as what Epcot's supposed to be very well. The attraction yeah. itself could use some updating. We know it's coming, but it, 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 like you said, in any other part, probably lower, but it fits the mold for what Epcot's supposed to be doing. Dated, unupdated attractions. Got yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harmonious is our next one. I haven't done this, so y'all argue amongst yourselves. I think it's B. I I was hoping that I wouldn't have to fight over this because I, when we did this last time, I was like, oh, I haven't done this, so I can't have an opinion. And then I was like, oh, wait, yeah, I have. And I feel like that speaks for itself, <laughs> the fact that I forgot I had watched this show. I don't think it's bad, but it also was not as exciting and amazing as I wanted it to be. This could fall anywhere from the last three tiers, and I really wouldn't care. I think maybe if I go back and watch it again, and well, I will say the one I've only seen it once, and the one time I did see it, uh, there was a conflict happening with two groups beside me, so I was very distracted for a lot of it. <laughs> there was a, like a skirmish was going on, and I was a much skirmish. more I was much more invested in that. I think. Oh. Uh. Basically, there was like a family that had been sitting there for like an hour and this man came up and was and his wife and were standing like way too close and they asked him to back off and he was very drunk and oh, started yeah. yelling oh, at them <laughs> and the wife had to like drag the man away to I stop mean, him from making an idiot of himself. Honestly, you know, I love a lot of attractions at Disney, but you put me on any of them and a domestic situation is breaking out. (laughs) It's hard not not to pay attention to that. That's a once in a lifetime experience. You can go back to any (laughs) of these attractions again, but you don't know what's going to happen there. Yeah. Um, So I'll go. My opinion might change if I watched it again. Sans skirmish. So, where do we want to put this B or C? I think B is fair for now, okay. though. Okay. Uh, Disney's Pixar Short Film Festival. D. I haven't D. seen D. 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 D is fine. Do, uh, have y'all done this? Yeah. Well, like, yeah. this is the ultimate. Oh. Uh, you have a, a lull in your schedule. Here's something to fill it with. I mean, like you want some air conditioning and yeah. sit down for a little while. Do they like, do any effects, or is it literally just them showing films? No, it's just them showing. No, films. it's just the films. Like, which no... is a shame because this is the Captain EO theater. I was about to yeah. say they have the capacity to do stuff in here that would make it more fun, right? I... Yeah, but <laughs> I mean. I don't well, know. Why would they do that when people are going to go sit in there anyway, right? Exactly. Basically, and, yeah. Literally, it's like, you know y'all got Disney+. Plus. Just y'all can watch any of these movies on that when you get back to your hotel room. But wow. If you need, you know, like Mario said, AC. Here's the AC. Yeah. Speaking of AC, we have uh, Frozen. Speaking of AC, I think this lands squarely in the middle, and I put it in B tier. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Grand Fiesta Tour. Hmm. I think this is a C. I'm okay with that. I like this attraction a lot, and I, given the choice, I will 
ride this probably over frozen but i think technology wise and bias aside it's not that great no it this might, is something know. if it has maybe a 10 or 15 minute wait but that's it right. if it's any longer than that i'm not even considering it yeah. And, you know, I don't put it in C saying I don't like it or that it's a bad attraction, but it's just not that great of an experience. But it's fun, you know? So, yeah. yeah. It's cute. Yeah. All and right, then, Beth. Yeah, this one's all you, Beth. Yeah. Where's oh, the yeah. rat ride going? Rat ride. Rat <laughs> ride. <laughs> Ah, man, I don't remember where I put it last time. So this is it's good to kind of go into it, not having that in the back of my mind. But I don't know, I guess it's I think that B is fair. I don't think it's better necessarily than Frozen Ever After. But I don't think it's worse either. I think I don't know. If anything, if they had done more practical like set pieces with Ratatouille, it would have been potential A tier. But I think B is fair. Okay. <laughs> Too many uh, screens I'm... for me, man. I Yeah, I could see that. Canada far and wide. Now I did what well, this is the one circle vision I've seen. Well, kind of seen. I had to stare at the floor for most of it because it made me nauseous. I would say that it goes in C or D for sure. Yeah. And I think it's C or D. <laughs> Do you have any uh contention with that, Brian? I have not seen the new one. Okay. Yes. So we are gonna throw that in uh C or D, which one? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could throw it in C with the rest of the Circle Vision ones. I mean, from what I understand, <laughs> it did exactly what it was supposed to do. That's fair. Uh, imagination, current iteration. <clears throat> this is a C. I'm inclined to put it in C as well. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. It's funny. It's like... <laughs> It's, it's like, I, I like Grand Fiesta Tour, but I recognize that it's a C tier attraction. I hate Imagination, Journey to Imagination, but I also recognize that it's a C tier <laughs> attraction. Well, it's the worst part about doing tier list is you set the caliber for things at a certain point. Like, we have D is. Uh, Pixar Pals short film festival and the Beauty and the Beast sing along. But then also like middle of the road right now is Harmonious Frozen and Ratatouille. And we don't have a top tier. So this like definitely isn't on the same tier as the middle tier. And it's definitely not as bad. So it kind of falls perfectly into that C slot. No, but then again, so yeah. like several other things. <laughs> But like I'm looking at, again, we said we're doing this on a bottom park basis. Like if you look at D tier here, is Disney just absolutely phoning it in? And yeah. as yeah. bad as as Journey to Imagination is, at, at least, least they Disney tried. tried. Right. It, they put effort into it, they completely missed the mark. But there was an attempt. An attempt was made. <laughs> See, and I feel like Epcot could have also and I know it's too late now, probably. I feel like this could have also benefited from an F tier because then I feel like everything would shift down a little bit to make room for things that are, in my opinion, actual C tier. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if we had an F, all the C's would go to D, all the D's would go to F, and then we would have the C slot to put other things that are upcoming. Yeah, that's fair. But hindsight is twenty twenty. Always is. <laughs> uh, we also have the drummers at the Japan Pavilion. <clears throat> See, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy this more than anything else in the C tier. 
<laughs> but it's, it's not. Like it, doesn't, it doesn't belong in B tier either. No. And again, it's like it can be an enjoyable attraction, but it's not like the same experience as you're getting on an actual ride. Right. Well, we can kind of remedy this if we're if we're taking the Guardians of the Galaxy out of the equation, right? Like, is there another S tier in in Epcot? Is there something in here that falls in that S tier? Because I think last time we determined nothing really does. I agree with that. Yeah. So do we move Spaceship Earth up one? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we gotta have something in the S tier, right? Well, that's I what I was trying to figure out. Is like, it, does S tier just stay empty and then we lock ourselves into these four tiers? Or is there a supreme Epcot attraction? I, what if we just shifted everything up? Like, well, not everything. If we grade it on a curve, that makes imagination a B, and I don't agree with that. Wait, what? No, no, no. Here's oh, what I propose. Oh, damn, he's right. That does. We can't do that. <laughs> Here's what I propose. We move Spaceship Earth to S. We move all the Bs to A. And then we reevaluate the C's. Wait a minute! Two minutes ago, you said we needed <laughs> another tier, and now you're yeah, this to essentially say does that. that. It does that without adding a tier. We're just recalibrating. Oh. It does, but I also think that if we recalibrate, Harmonious stays at a B. I, I would be fine with that. Do All we right. want to do it? <laughs> I just, or do we want to stick with it? <laughs> So my opinion is that I know we said we're doing this on a per park basis, but I also think that if a park doesn't have a C tier attraction, then it shouldn't it shouldn't just like all the A shouldn't just be C or S tier attractions. Like Brian's Brian's gonna take a little boomer mentality. If they ain't got an S tier, they don't deserve yeah. an S tier. Gets a trophy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't want to give the trophy of best attraction in no Epcot participation Earth. trophies i'm saying i think s tier is special i think that it's okay to have a lot of even more than other parks to have a lot of enjoyable high quality a tier attractions but i don't think epcot has anything in it right now obviously barring Guardians of the Galaxy, which I haven't done, that that should be considered S tier. Okay. That's that's fair. I, that's fair. I'm fine with it. We're just so gonna just, have a really, really thick C tier is what's gonna happen. Yeah. I think that's what happened a lot. I mean, just to give our listeners the rundown on where we've landed with this, because this has probably been a very confusing like five minutes of discussion. Uh no S tier. A tier is still spaceship Earth. B is Harmonious, Frozen, uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. C is basically all of the Circle Visions <laughs> and Grand Fiesta Tour and Imagination. Uh, and the drummers. D is, what? And the drummers. Oh, and the drummers. Yes, we are putting them in C. And the drummers. Uh, D is the Beauty and the Beast Sing Along and the Pixar Film Festival. So next one we have is Living with the Land. I think that's an A. I Definitely. will fight for this to be an A. This is an A. <laughs> but I don't think I have to fight. No. I will say that if, if we had to give an attraction an S tier, this might be my Epcot S tier. But, but we're not. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I would agree that if there were, if there were an S tier. If there were an S tier, it would be the original Soren. That's that's fair. <laughs> or the original Journey into Imagination. Yeah, that's also probably fair. <clears throat> I think this next one is interesting because I don't know that we're going to agree on it, but Mission Space. I, I think. B. Yeah, I think B is fair. I think this is a cool attraction. I think, well, the orange side anyway. The green side is whatever. Mm -hmm. Orange is like you legit feel like your brain is like leaving this atmosphere. <laughs> oh, yeah. I 
I'm okay with it being a B. I think the this ride unfortunately suffers from a lot of things that aren't really its fault, right? Like I think people think that it's either too intense or not intense at all. Like the orange and the green side aren't specifically split in a way that makes it feel like there's a ride for everyone here. Um and I think that it's it's a cool concept and I think it's done very well. But I think it just kind of sits there and it's had no major updates since it opened besides them changing the movie on the green side. And Disney's not really doing the ride any favors, essentially. Yeah. No, and this has to be the easiest thing for them to do. Because, again, I don't even want them to change the attraction. If they literally just updated the video that's played in front of you while the same motion goes into effect, I would mm-hmm. love this. And also, yeah. like Gary Sneeze. But, <laughs> yeah, it, you know, the, the, it's weird for me that they gave the green side the update and just left orange the same. Yeah. Yeah. Because orange, I imagine, was a lot more popular. You'd think. It's definitely the more interesting one. Mm-hmm. So next one we have on here is Sergio. I think he's also a C, right? I would yeah. agree with that. Thick C inbound. Um, yep. <laughs> Soren, current Soren. I think that's also a C. Yeah. Wow. That's being generous, though. Like, I want it to, if there was a tier lower than C, I think it would fall in there but I don't think it's a current D with the two things that are on D. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, Soren's certainly not my favorite thing in its current state. I just don't understand, like, why did they choose such weird smells this time? Yeah. I, it's not like, like, you know, the old Soren, it's like, I crave that orange grove scent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't crave any of the smells that I don't even I can barely even think of the smells mm-hmm. to be honest. The only one I distinctly remember from this is like the grass one. Yeah. Um, and the dirt one. Yeah, but, and, but the, that was the thing is that the orange was cool because it kind of like came out of nowhere and hits you and it was like, "Oh, oh what is that? Is that oranges?" and it like, you know, but now it's like they just have to throw a scent in your face with mm-hmm. every scene. So it like each of them doesn't feel special. Well, and I think the unfortunate thing of it is the way that, like, the way that they choose to to use the smells in this one blends in a little bit better. Like, the orange scent definitely hung around when you rode that attraction. Because I remember it would pop up, and then it would be there for, like, half the ride, but it was very faint. And this one, it feels like the way that it should work, but none of those scents are memorable. Yeah. Like, it's so weird, because it's like, they did it right, but right is not probably what they should have done. (laughs) It's like you think about all these small shops that make like Disney scented candles. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't think of a candle that they would make out of this. They got, you know, the smells that you really, the smells that you want, even like weird smells like pirate's water. Like that's a, that's a candle that I would buy, but I wouldn't Mm -hmm. buy any of these candles. (laughs) I also think that this is unfortunate because it's like uh, it's an attraction that, like I said a couple minutes ago, previously would have been an S tier, but then fell so far with an update. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the unfortunate story of a lot of these attractions. Yeah. Like speaking of the next one, I think Test Track in its current form probably a B tier. I'd put this one in C too. I would too. Really? Yeah. I would have put the previous test track at least a little bit higher. I don't know if I would have put it A, so maybe you're right. But I think, like, I don't know. I, it's yeah, all right. I do not like the new theming. Um, they, I, like, half committed to Tron. Right. Which I feel, again, it's one of those things. It's like them updating it i think kind of like shortened the life of that theming because that's going to feel dated i i think much quicker than if you would have just kept the whole crash test dummy thing yeah oh, absolutely and i think the crash test dummy theme before actually fit what they were trying to do with the ride right like this it 
doesn't like i guess they're taking you on the the car testing course and it's supposed to be futuristic but even now it doesn't feel like that everybody relates it to tron and that's not what it's supposed to be Mm -hmm. and it's so like the aesthetics of it is so in your face now you know i don't know yeah i'm 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 not a fan of it i put it in c with with everything else speaking of c's Oh, that was it. Hey. <laughs> the best or worst segue, whichever you're looking at. Uh, the season with Nemo and Friends. I think that's also a C. Yeah. As it's the name so... suggests. <laughs> we have got a very like widespread. Just you can go on all kinds of different attractions in the C tier. Mm-hmm. We got circle visions. We got dark rides. We've got people banging drums. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Um, next one we have is the American Adventure. <laughs> it's got to also be a C, yeah. right? You know, I think that this just kind of sums up what that <laughs> thought is right now. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a below average Disney theme park, uh, but also you know you don't necessarily just go to Epcot for the attractions. Right. I feel like like we I feel like this is kind of the point that we got to last time is like the main attraction of Epcot is eating and drinking. That's mm-hmm. the S tier. Yes. So there we go. Just World Showcase can go in S tier. There we go. We did it, guys. <laughs> uh, speaking of World Showcase, Voices of Liberty, do they go in, in that tier? <sighs> I think they have to just because every other live they entertainment's do. in there. It hurts my feelings a little bit, but it feels right. Okay, so then that would be everything. The only one that we don't have ranked is Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> Just let me save that. Oh, and we, this one didn't save from last time. <laughs> let me see. Oh, uh, no. I might still have a saved of it. Let me see. Now that we've hit the end of that, do we agree with <clears throat> with where we landed on all of them? Or, oh, no, I didn't say it for the last time. Huh. Looks like Animal Kingdom didn't either. I, I agree with this. I think, sure, there's a lot of C's, but I think, I think everything kind of wound up where it belongs. Yeah. That's- Okay, so I think we have to do Animal Kingdom next, right? That would make more sense, I think. Mm-hmm. We can't end on the, <laughs> the quintessential Disney park. <laughs> and Animal Kingdom is a lot shorter, so. All right. Starting us off in Animal Kingdom, we have Finding Nemo the Musical. I say A. This one's tough because I like this a lot, but I think for Animal Kingdom, it probably is an A. (laughs) Yeah, I would say A, not having seen the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tough to be a bug? D. D? D. I think, you know what, I distinctly, yeah, you know, I said something about the Hopper animation last time, and I can't remember if that made me drag it up or down, or or if I just said it didn't help it, but I'm going to say D. I just don't think it's fair to put it in D when I could see something else on here. Oh, oh, yeah, I think Uh, uh, that definitely deserves to be in D. That is fair. All right. I get so I would here's say the question. C. Do we we can if we're considering I mean technically the queue for this is part of like the tree of life, right? Yeah. So okay. That's incredible. So I'll pump it up to C because of that. What is the one that you want to put in D? Let's just throw that on there and set our bar right away. Triceratops spin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair. 
Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's go. The next one that we have on here is the Safari. Where do we want to put that? That's S tier, in yeah. my opinion. It's fair. I think for this park, it, like that's the only way that this makes sense because this is the theme of this attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we've got River Rapids. C? Yeah. Uh, I want to fight for this to be a little higher. Um, hear me out, because I think that this is a solid B tier. It's middle of the road. I think it it's for what kind of ride this is. It has a theme to it, and I think that it fits the theme of the park well. Um, I will say it's not like a tier because it doesn't really tell the story great, but also you get soaked. And I think that that's the big detrimental factor to this attraction is that now you have to walk through the park drenched uh, in the rides water. Now you don't so, always get soaked. Well, but I feel like you either come off of the attraction completely dry or there is water in your underwear. Yes. <laughs> There's no in between. So because you get a very middle of the road ride experience, let's put it in the middle of the road. That's it fair. can settle at C if you guys really want to put it at C. I'm you know, it, it's hard not to be biased just because it is probably the best river rapid attraction I've been on, but I just hate those types of attractions. And it's yeah. not even just the fact that you get wet. It's kind of like they, you know, it's like Disney just kind of pushes you down a hill and it's like, here you go. We didn't really need to work on anything. Just we'll meet you at the bottom. So they put a bunch of flaming trees in it just so that you could have a theme about conservation. Oh, that's right. The, you know what? I it's about miss? logging, right? Or like yeah. deforestation. I always miss that, you know, depressing look at at the you know the, our planet falling apart when I go on most river rapid rides. So I'm glad they decided to do that. <laughs> really adds that little something special. They could have gone further and added like dead animals, or you know maybe just like well, my, hold on. my grandmother wagging talk... her finger at me just to make me feel bad. But you know, or if you, you know like the the, the plastic view. island the size of Texas that could have oh, been incorporated. Yeah. If you want to talk about depressing theme, let's talk about the depressing theme that the safari used to have. It That's was. true. Chasing poachers around. Yeah, I, yeah. I think and, getting away from that was a very good idea. <laughs> well, I think we hey, could now look too. where we are with climate change, y'all. Maybe Disney saw the future and they were trying to help prevent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so going to throw are it we, C. I think it's fair. It's C. C. If you guys want to stay at C. Okay. Uh, dinosaur, I think that's the B. I think that's the middle of the road. I, I, I want to put it in A. Oh, well, then let's put it in B because I was, I was going between B and C. Okay, then I'll settle for B. <laughs> I'm well, very. I feel like I'm very emotionally attached to it, though. So I'm letting my bias show. It's a yeah. it's it's a good attraction, and especially like thinking back to when I wrote it as a kid. I mean, just absolutely terrifying in a good way. Um, but I don't know. This this is. Uh, I think the the ride at Disney that benefits the most from having really really poor lighting. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the animatronics that you can see aren't doing much. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one, if it had any like better show lighting, would be arguably worse. So I agree. Yeah. Uh, next one we have on the list is Divine. This is... Oh. See? See, yeah. yeah, like it's awesome, but again, just kind of like the level of experience that you're getting with each thing. Yeah. Uh, Expedition Everest. That's an A, right? A or S? I was leaning more I would, towards S. Yeah, well, I would say, I would say S. I would say S, even with the Disco Yeti, I'll give it an S. I still. I mean, I've I've said it several times. I still think that the Yeti being on B mode right now doesn't change a single thing. Yeah. 
you know, if anything, even if they weren't able to replace the Yeti, I almost feel like it would even be better if you kind of like took it out. And then you have this whole mysterious element of never actually seeing the the Yeti, but um, now the reveal is just kind of, ugh, but <laughs> it's still an incredible be ride. Best, some of the best theming that Disney's ever done, like throughout an attraction. So I say S still. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, next one we have is Festival of the Lion King. The monkeys are back. The monkeys are back. I put an A. Now we got the monkeys back. I'm cool with A, I guess. I don't really know yeah. where else I would put this, to be completely that's, honest. That's fine. Uh, Maharaja Jungle Trek. I, I would say B. B. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's very dependent on what you end up seeing when you go. Some days are better than others, but you know, I think Disney does a really good job with the the enclosures and everything for the animals. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Navi River Journey. Mm. I think this is a C. C? Yeah. yeah. And it's then... fine. It's perfectly adequate with an amazing animatronic. Yeah. Sometimes. 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 When, <laughs> when you get it. And then last but not least is Flight of Passage. All right, y'all. It's an A. That's yeah. where I can go. Yeah, can't... when it first came out, it was an <laughs> S, but it's an A now. I agree I think. That. But, you yeah. know... Where the I can see a lot of other attractions like starting off high and like falling and falling and falling and falling over the years. I think this one kind of settles into an A and it will be there for a very long time. Right. Oh, I, agree. I would agree with that. Yeah. I think that's like where it lands and where it's fair at. Like yeah. 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 All right. So we are done that one. Look at us go. We're flying Sweet. through them now. Now the big one. This one's. I feel like the last time we did this, we didn't really have a lot of discrepancies on this because the, where the rides in this tier land, it pretty much just makes sense. Yeah. Hey, why are there three Tomorrowland speedways in here? I have no idea, but they're all going <laughs> in the one tier. <laughs> so we're making an F for this, right? Yes, this one does get another tier. It has to because. There's no way to fairly judge this with another one or without another one. Yeah. No extra rows. We're gonna add. Is this an F tier or? Yeah. How do you how do you do this? I got it. Um, you should be able to refresh it, and it should show up. Speed. Let me see if I can delete some of those uh, speedways. <laughs> no, I'm just putting them all down there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It deserves it. Uh, starting us off strong, we have Haunted Mansion for this one. Oh, y'all know where this goes. Yeah. For sure. Anybody disagreements on it being S? <laughs> nope. All right. And again, like like we were, this like came in at an S and settled into an S. You know, it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I can't say enough that I haven't already said about how great this attraction is and how well Disney has done for it to stand the test of time and have so very little change. Yeah. Uh, next one up is Festival of Fantasy. I like this parade a lot. I don't think it's higher than a C, though. Yeah, I agree with that. Now... Is the dragon working? We're gonna oh, it always that. works, right? It just sometimes catches itself on fire. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it works too well. Yeah, right. Oh man. Okay. I'm fine with what did we say? C? C. I put it at C, yeah. All right. Um, after that we have Talking Mickey Town Square Theater. Not talking. Oh, sorry. Regular Mickey at Town Square Regular Theater. Regular Mickey. 
D. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Talking man. Mickey would have been at least a B for me. Seriously. It's not an A, honestly. I don't know yeah. if this Journey to Imagination or Soren has the most like significant tumble since an update, <laughs> but they're all really bad. Well, I think Soren by far. Like Journey to Imagination was a pretty slow roll. Um original Soren when it first came out, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. And then I rode this one and I was like, this is the absolute worst thing that they could have done. So at least talking Mickey, like that was cool technology, but now it's just a Mickey meet and greet. And it's not like I'm over that because meeting Mickey is always a, a fun thing, but it's not like we didn't have that before. <laughs> That's true. But it, it's still very sad that this has become what it is. Uh, Big Thunder. I'd put this in A. I would agree with that. It's fair. Uh, yeah, Astro Orbiter. It's, well, it's just one of those rides that Disney, you do it right the first time, and you, then you can just leave it alone. Yeah. And, you know, it's great. Everybody still loves this. Next one is uh, Astro Orbiter. I think that this falls at a, like C or D for well, me. I'll put it at a D. That'd yeah, a, a I would say D. D. One thing that I hate about this attraction is that it's it should be the best spinner because of its height, but how hard it is to actually get up to that platform yeah. just makes it worse. Like it, it lives and dies by the elevator. And the ride vehicles themselves. Yeah, that's like, true. If I wanted to lay down, I'd go back to my hotel room. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, and also I think you know each of the spinners gives you a you know a view of some part of the uh, of the theme park. And Tomorrowland is probably the one that I want to look at least from an elevated height. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, next one is Goofy's Barnstormer. I'd say C for this. It yeah, it does what it needs to. It's baby's first yeah. roller coaster. Right, that's fine. Okay, Buzz Lightyear. It's a C. Yeah, yeah. I, it's definitely a high C for me, but I think it. it and, and the one hand, I kind of like that it still relies on the practical effects, but it also feels very dated now because yeah, of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, next one is Princess Fairy Tale Hall. The Rapunzel and Snow White side. I think we don't have an. Oh, no, we do. We have, we have two. This is, yeah, this is there twice, but they're the same picture. <laughs> it's the same picture, but we'll just have to imagine that one side is Rapunzel and Snow White, and the other side's Tiana and Cinderella. Regardless, I, I think, think we should they, just rank them both the same. They fall in the same yeah, spot. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like they each have a princess that I care about and a princess that I don't care about. So they'll go the same place regardless. <laughs> And I think that place. I think it's a C. Yeah, I feel like the interactions with face characters are a little better because you can actually have conversations with them. Yeah. Uh, Dumbo? I put this one in C. Really? So I. Yeah. Uh, the attraction itself is kind of okay, whatever. It's another spinner, but I do think that the fact that they use like the you know, restaurant intercom buzz thing, wait time is is cool, and the fact that they also included like a play area for kids mm -hmm. before that. I think that's really innovative of Disney to do that, and I think that earns it some separation from the other ones. Yeah. That's fair. I'm cool with that. 
I think that this is like such an iconic attraction that it could be a little higher, but I don't think that it's weird to have it break the ceiling of B. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have It's a Small World. Mm. Uh, I think that's definitely the B ceiling. Really? B or C. It's It does not go lower than B or C. Oh, God. I, I wanted to put it in D, man. Really? This I, attraction I, does very little for me. This is a yeah. maybe once every five years or five trips. Same. Maybe I'm letting my nostalgia get the best of me, but we can put it at D, I guess. As an uh, attraction, I don't feel like it does much. As a historical museum and like knowing the context, I would give it a, an extra point or two, but if we're basing it solely on the attraction itself. Same here. I hate it, but I... I do have to respect it. I'd put it at the C. Oh. I'll cope with C. Okay. It can stay middle of the road then. Now, if uh, it were only like 10 minutes long, I would be way more comfortable with it being a C. <laughs> but 20 minutes, I'm I'm done. I'm dragging my hand in the water hoping to fall in towards the end of the ride. <laughs> hoping the animatronics come for you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, speaking of long attractions, the next one on here is Carousel of Progress. Now, I will not let this be below Small World. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I, I put this at B. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could do B for that one. Especially uh, now that the final scene has new clothing and stuff, right? Does it? Yeah, yeah it they does. just recently updated thing. it. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sure all the dialogue is exactly the same, and that still dates it. But uh, hey, at least they're trying, I guess. Give them a brownie point. <laughs> that literally sounds like some task that they just gave to an intern. It's like, yeah. hey, look, you take half a day, go pick out some new clothes for these animatronics, and put it on them, and that's all you gotta do. Hey, they got some new hair, too, I think. Oh. So... And I think uh, instead of holding like those old, what were they like snow boots or inline skates or something, the girls holding just like regular hiking boots now. Oh, okay. They did a couple things. It's still not they, the future. It's like maybe present day. So they're they they're inching their way. In trying. <laughs> Let's be real. They're inching their way toward the future, maybe. Uh, next one we have on here is Jungle Cruise. I think that also falls on a B, right? Oh, A for me. Yeah, really? A. Yeah, I guess it's fair. I I love Jungle Cruise, but I was trying to not let my bias of like loving this attraction bump it up anymore. But I think it does fall on par with Big Thunder. Now, I haven't seen the new stuff in it, but I feel like hopefully that will only enhance it further. Yeah. Uh, next up we have Little Mermaid. C? Uh, yeah, C or D for me. It's a C. Alright. Yeah. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. I... D? Really? I think... Thanks. I know this one, it's not for me, so it's so hard to say, but yeah, I don't know. This was like a D for me. I like this one. I think it's definitely better than Little Mermaid, so I would put it in a C. You think it's better? Yeah, I think it's worse. That's why I, I do too. I feel I, like mm. at least like Little Mermaid has like a bunch of animatronics. This has the like only... a couple of animatronics and a bunch of cutouts. But the only thing for me that that is good in Little Mermaid is that Ursula animatronic. Like every other one, yeah, it has animatronics, but we've talked about that. The Bastion one's good too, and so is the Scuttle and the Cube. Yeah, Yeah, the Scuttle and the Cube is pretty good. I don't know. I'm just looking at the season. I think it kind of falls in line there. But if you guys want to put it at a D, we can put it at a D. I think it's the only really redeeming part of this is that little like 
out of body experience yes the fact they do. that's literally what i was thinking about i was like that part is kind of cool yeah and but the, the thing is is it feels so out of place because all it the does. other animatronics and effects are so bad Right, and that scene that's like pictured in the little icon is truly horrifying. It's like oh, yeah. Pooh's just covered in honey, just <laughs> coming for your life. <laughs> and also, the honey wall and the queue, I think, can mm. help bump this down into a D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Main Street vehicles, where would we place that one? I've only done this once, but I had a blast. So I'm inclined to put it in C because it is a very, in my opinion, unique experience that you only get if you catch it at the right time of day and you think about like, oh, I'm going to go do that. Because I got to tell you, being on that little fire truck and him like blowing the horn at people walking in front of him and seeing the like, shock and anger on their faces that was just such a treat but if you guys want to put it somewhere else though that's fine too i think that's it this is this is hard for me because i feel like not everybody gets to do this attraction so it has the kind of the points for that one but i think take it away and main street loses something right like it's definitely part of the atmosphere some ambiance so are we putting it at C? I like it there. C is good. Okay. Uh, Magic Carpets of Aladdin. I Nobody say, wants to be the first I, on this one. I say a D for this. Yeah. D it's is definitely fine. better than Astro Orbiter, but I don't think it's as good as the rest of the stuff in C. Yeah. Uh, Phil Hardmagic. I'd give it a B. Yeah. Uh, B or C for yeah. me. I'm more inclined to put this in C just because it feels a little dated, but it did just get the Coco scene, so I'll put it at B. Don't need another copy of Princess Fairy Tale Hall. Uh, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. This is so very dependent on. A lot the of, performers. A lot of I yes. think this is a D. Yeah. I, I will I'm, say I've had some good times. I've had a lot of bad times, though. It is such a mixed bag. Yeah. You know, and honestly, it, it, when I think about, like, this and the, the most, I guess, comparable attraction, I would say that this is, like, Turtle Talk. And yeah. with Turtle Talk, it, it's completely random, too, but I have like legitimately burst out laughing probably every time that I've gone to Turtle Talk. So I, I don't think you can just say, well, oh, you know, it's a mixed bag. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's like, yeah, but Turtle Talk almost always manages to be really good. And this is not all the time. Yeah. Uh, next one is Splash. I'm going S with this. I would say S for really. Two. I was think I was like A in between A and S, but I definitely don't think it should be below A. Definitely not. Yeah, it's fair. It's got too many moving parts, man. It's one of the most mm-hmm. intricate attractions. And one of the longest, but it's like I've never gotten bored on it, you know? Right. And it's got so much charm. Mm-hmm. Peter Pan's flight. That's a C, right? That sounds fair. It, yeah. Uh, another one. I don't. I do not like it, but. <laughs> but that three-hour. The interactive hour cue. Yeah. Helps. Yeah. Pirates. That's an S for me, but I don't know mm-hmm. if we're gonna go higher or lower. I was inclined to put A. Yeah. But I could be persuaded to S maybe. I think A is solid. You know, it's it's definitely in that like upper echelon of like super classic Disney attractions that have held up well, but I don't think it is on 
the same level as the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Okay. I'm cool with putting it there then. Uh, Carousel. D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any particular reason for D or just? It, I mean, it's it's a carousel. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. It it's cute. Its, it's cute. It's got little cute little music box versions of Disney songs, which I like. But I can also just listen to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anytime. I like. Yeah, I like the music on it, but it has the same effect of going to listen to it on YouTube. So. Yeah. And I want I want the bias to push it up higher because of, you know. It is kind of a classic Disney attraction. It is a staple of the park, even if it's not a staple of my trips. I think it's it should be higher, but as an attraction, D feels fair. Uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. I would say B. A high B. A high B. Wow. I'd be comfortable with B or B or C. I was thinking, I was leaning more towards C, but I'm I'm comfortable with a low B. Yeah. I think this attraction, the queue is fun. The attraction itself is too short. Yes. Um, and I think the unfortunate thing of it is the big gimmick of the attraction is missed by a lot of guests. Because mm-hmm. the swinging carts was the big thing, right? Like, that was the thing that they marketed yeah. as, like, part of the coaster but i think maybe i've felt that twice right you can't really tell uh space mountain Hmm. i want to put this at a c guys thank you oh my god i was like i can't say (laughs) that no i I think so like i'd love for this to be higher because it feels like it should be but it's just not as good of an attraction as some of our A, B, and S tiers. The thing that kills me, honestly, about Space Mountain is that the building itself is so cool and iconic mm-hmm. looking. I just want the attraction to be better. Yeah. It's a fun attraction. It's just not, I don't know. You look at some of these other attractions that have stood the test of time, and it's definitely not on that level. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. C for chiropractor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, teacups. Where are we putting them at? D. D for me. D. Yeah. This is also another one that I feel like should be higher, but can't be because the the ride itself, the actual ride, is not anything special. Uh, people mover. I, I would put C. Put the... You By would put aside, it lower. This has to be a C. I think that's fair. Like, I like it, and it's fun. It's a very nice, relaxing, you know, attraction to go on. But just most of it is literally just riding through the dark or around attractions that nobody cares about yeah yeah all right speaking of some bias country bear jamboree i would put it at least at a b i i would say so i think a high b really is, is the most unbiased that i can be about this Really, I I enjoy it disagree. certainly more than most of the C tier attractions, and about as much as the B tier attractions. Here's my big issue with it, though. I think Country Bear Jamboree is fun. It is a good sit down theater attraction, but I also think if we're comparing it to like the attractions on the B tier, I think it's definitely not as good as Philhar Magic. Mm-hmm. Um. I, think, I don't know if I would agree with that. Yeah, I, 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 I know I'm biased, but I, I don't agree with that. I feel like I'm I, less biased than Brian, but I agree that I like it about as much as I like Philhar Magic. Okay, I guess we can put it at a B. I just think that this, 
it is a good attraction. I enjoy Country Bear Jamboree, but I think it definitely does not belong in this tier. But rules are rules, and if you guys are going to land on B, then I have to go with B too. I just feel like if you look at the things that are in C, a lot of them are very bare bones, like basic uh. attractions. And I feel like Country Bears <laughs> does a little more for me than that. I guess. There's a lot of moving parts in Country Bears. Mm-hmm. Eh. I think for me, the best Country Bears experiences I've had have been more because of the audience than the actual attraction. But. That certainly helps, yeah. Well, but see, I'm thinking if I if I ride these attractions and take out audience out of it, because we kind of had that whole issue with um, Monsters and Glass Floor. Like, that very much depends on the performers. It very much depends on the audience. So it, it got put lower. I'm fine with it being a B tier for the record. <laughs> like, okay. is, no, I don't think there. me and Brian are gonna get like are gonna be swayed on. This. No, no, no. I, when I said I'm fine with it at a B tier, I left it at the B tier, but I wasn't sure if anybody else was saying anything about it. Um, next one we have is Tom Sawyer Island. Are you guys ready to hate me for this one? Because I think this goes in D. Whoa, no. <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's D or C, and I don't think it goes any higher. And I mean, the reason I'm I'm more flexible and willing to say it goes to a C is because I think best argument of it being everything in C is kind of a bare bones attraction, right? I think the biggest detrimental factor to Tom Sawyer Island is how hard it is to actually get to, mm-hmm. and the effort of getting there does not. Um, it doesn't help it for what is a rather bare bones attraction. I think that if it was easy to get to, it would take away a lot of what the attraction is. I I do agree with that as well. I think that it's an escape. It is. And I think that's part of it. It's cool that you have to take a small ferry over to get to it, that not everybody can just run into it at once. It, it, It really helps drive home that feeling of it being this like, secluded island because of that because it is uh it's definitely dated it's definitely not the type of like in your face incredible attraction you know that disney would normally put out but i think it's one of the most unique experiences at the park and i think that it's fun and a really cool reprieve from what most of the magic kingdom is yeah yeah I agree. And, you know, you could almost swing it as like the transportation there is part of the experience because you're like, hey, maybe we're going to sink and drown at the bottom of this river because that's how I feel when I get on that little float. (laughs) So how high do you want to put this on the list if that's what your feelings are for it? I'm fine with C. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with C. I just think that it doesn't belong higher than C. I would agree. I agree, but I think that it's. I mean, it, it's a pretty high C for me. Yeah. Um, next one that we have is the uh, Treehouse. Swiss Family Treehouse. That's a D for me. Yeah, I that's think easily that's a, a D. D. I could sit here and argue for a C, but I, I it's hard and probably biased for me to say that, so I think we'll put it in. That's fine. My my logic behind D is that I think this is one that by the time you get all the way through it, it's a oh we're done kind of moment. And yeah. I think that that's not like it's it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but to the average guest guest, it's pretty much like a you know I did this and now what? Like most people think that that's the cue for something else. The only yeah. thing that I will say is that. The only other thing that you could do with this small of a footprint is another spinner or like teacup style ride. So with that yeah. in mind, I think, I mean, I'm not going to argue for, the, for it to be out of D, but I think like with the space constraints, it's a pretty cool and unique thing to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish they it was more relevant. Like if they made it into something else, you know, like some yeah. other theme. They added a 
a few things here and there. They could do like, I don't know, like a scavenger hunt type of thing. Like yeah. we'd kill time in the same way and make it a little more fun. But I don't hate it. Next up, we have Enchanted Tiki Room. I feel like this is going to be a point of arguing. <laughs> I would put Enchanted Tiki Room at a B. If Country Bears is a B, it's also a B. No, I think that's fair. And like, I enjoy Country Bears more than the Tiki Room. Um, but like, I, I still, I think I like look back at the Tiki Room as like a fun museum look into the past. Yeah. I enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, next one we have is Enchanted Tales with Belle, which uh, this is, I think this is a B, or a, not a B, a D. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I would agree with a, that. That's a stark difference. A couple of cool things here and there does not a good attraction make. Yeah. I like this for what it is, but I think it's fine to be a low tier. Yeah. Uh, Casey Jr.'s Splash Pad. <laughs> how, again, me and Mario were talking, well, oh, you were there, Beth, too. Like, how, why does Disney consider certain things attractions and yeah. not others? <laughs> I don't know. This certainly does not feel like an attraction to me. This feels like a thing that you walk by whether on purpose or on accident. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't even deserve to be on the list. In my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, it's not an I think on the list, it kind of falls in the F tier. I'm I'd fine with it. With that. Yeah. It's like uh, getting, like, you know, you think about Splash Mountain or Cali River Rapids or any other water attraction. You're like, well, I got off soaking wet, but at least it was fun. This is like doesn't even have that element. What if there was the wetness with no experience <laughs> right. attached to it? Exactly. All the dampness, none of the fun. Right. That's the tagline for that attraction. <laughs> so, next one's Hall of Presidents. D. Uh, okay. Yeah. I would also be okay with it being an F, but yeah. the fact that there are like 46 animatronics up there, I guess, gives it a little bit of edge. I, yeah, the funny I, thing about this is, is I feel like this is one where they could have just not updated it. Like they could just yes. not continue to update it every year and it would be fine. I, I think put it at D for damn this attraction is long. And you could also slide it down to an F for similar reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. Um, Frontierland Shooting Arcade. F. I could do this at the state fair. <laughs> like, wow, man. I know yeah. it's a lot of these you could do kind of a similar iteration at the state fair, but this one just doesn't even feel like. I don't know. I, F or I, D. I'm not. I will not let us settle for anything higher than D, though. I, I don't think it, it belongs anywhere higher than a D. But I have yeah. so much nostalgic memory for doing this as a kid. Yeah. Now, if it had real guns like it used to, <laughs> <laughs> that might well, that be exciting. Would, yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty sick. Oh. Uh. We Literally putting it well. D or F? I put it at D. I think D is fine. D okay, well. that's fine. Uh, I bet I have more fun doing it oh. than Hall of President, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Riverboat. Where do we want to put that? I think that's a C. Yeah. C, yeah. low C. Actually, I would even put it at a D. I would be okay with it being in the D or a C. Brian, where do you I, want to put it? C or D? I would put it C because I feel like kind of for the same reason that I would have argued for Swiss Family Treehouse being higher is that it's like, okay, well, to make an island, you have to have water going around it. And at least Disney did like something 
with the water you know <laughs> like they put this river yeah. flow on it so i think it's a good efficient use of what could be nothing so i yeah I'd put it at c if and anything, it's got some okay. cool scenes here and there throughout yeah. it's nice little breezy way to spend some time mm-hmm. okay i can i can put it at c uh dapper dan's I say D. Yeah. Okay. And then the last and certainly the least, Tomorrowland Speedway. That is our F, F right? F, 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 For sure. F. Yeah. Okay. All the way done. All right. Let's see how we rank these differently because I'm curious now that we found out that we can do that. Uh, I think this is going to be the one that's the most different, right? So far, we okay. So we got to remember because oh. we forgot some of them last time. So we forgot Tiki Room last time, but I think it ended up in Tiki Room ended up as an A tier. And let's let's talk about the fact that Country Bears was a C tier before. Wow. <laughs> oh, y'all. Okay, so you know how witness like witnesses in a crime scene are the least reliable source <laughs> of evidence yeah. this is why <laughs> yeah yep 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 <laughs> um man okay let's i mean for the most part we were all right like we put we actually put magic carpets of aladdin at the e, the f tier last time wow that, that scraped its way up to the d you were the one that argued for that. I remember. Did you I? said it was yeah, you said it was the worst of the spinner attractions and you said that because it's smack dab in the little in the middle of the land that takes away points from it too. Those are good points, but I I think <laughs> at least this <laughs> Brian's like, damn, I'm convincing myself now. <laughs> Those are good points, but I'm wrong. Yeah. What, what were you thinking two weeks ago, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because like at least you asked me right now, I would say that Astro Orbiter is is a worse spinner than Magic Carpets. We and were I, also sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I, I do hate that it's in the middle of the land, but at least when you get on it, that means you can see Adventure Land, which is probably the best land. So I don't know. I I don't think I was wrong <laughs> either time. Like it's not a great attraction. I but ask me again next week, and I might put it in C tier. I don't know. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's definitely D or F, but I think it deserves D. I also think we were a little more liberal with the D's this time because that see, was just significantly longer. <laughs> I see that Mario somehow convinced us this time to put Winnie the Pooh in C when we had clearly put it in D last time. <laughs> Wait, what? He had better argumenting <laughs> skills last time. <laughs> this is interesting, huh. though. But it's like, well, S- we, <laughs> D, we exactly also put, the same. yeah, we also put Festival of Fantasy way higher last time. Yeah. Way higher this time. That's true. Wow, this is crazy. Well, so, you know what? We'll do it again in two weeks and see how, <laughs> how different our answers are. This should be like a recurring thing. We just do this every two weeks until we get two weeks in a row where the things come out right, like the same each time. Right. We're able to convince ourselves correctly of each time. This is honestly, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, but I think I agree more with our list from this time around. I think it was a lot we were a lot more fair on that list. I think the last time Brian and I made the observation that magic kingdom is also very middle of the road because looking at our overall <clears throat> lists, a lot of the parks kind of have that nice middle rounded out area mm-hmm. except for Epcot, which is all middle. Yeah. 
Epcot needs an S tier. Well, I guess it has an S tier. We just none of us have done it, so. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, any final thoughts to close this out? I'm comfortable with where we landed this time. I'm very comfortable with where we landed. I think everything's pretty fair on this one. You know what I think is the the most you or like I don't know surprising thing about this whole doing this episode again is that it somehow took us longer to do it the second time than it did the first. <laughs> right. Time. Yeah. But. We landed relatively in the same spot, except for a couple things, so. Relatively. <laughs> Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas.